Hello, YouTube. <clears throat> How y'all doing? I'm sure you know who this is. Biggest troll in the world. Um, look. I don't live far from where all this happened. And, uh, you know, it kind of bothers me a little bit that this is even going on. Number one, it's unconstitutional what they try to do to trade, uh, Zimmerman, um, all the different stuff that's been going on. I told y'all I'm going to do any more on this, but it's been all week now. And every day it's enhanced. And President Obama now has done it twice. Come out and incited the people on this situation. So, I want you to come over here and read the information and listen to, to Monty's video. And I want you to check out the rest of it. I mean, go on down below and you can check it all out. And then I want to show you something else here. Um, and that's going to be, well, I don't know why I did that. I already had it up this page here. First slave owner in the US was black? Question mark. Well, it's true. Hmm. Now, why the hell does my fucking photos keep disappearing on my site? That's really starting to bother me. But it doesn't matter. Call me Mr. Doesn't Matter. But you can come over here and you can read all the information that you possibly can get in your system. About who, when, where, how slavery started and back in the day. Okay. Now, I've told y'all before this story about all this stuff. And, you know, it, it's, there's a lot of stuff here, and there's a lot of blue links here, okay? A lot of them. You can come over here, and you can do your own history on this. And I think you need to. A lot of people need to. Because race in this country is done by design, people. It's done by design. And the blacks to come over from England were the gentlemen, as you call them. Like this one that you see here. They were still black. They were not no different than anybody else. And they owned their own slaves. This particular one, 13 slaves. 12 family members, they had 213 slaves. Okay? Now, I'm not... All I'm trying to do is educate y'all. I ain't trying to start nothing. I ain't trying to pump you up. I'm trying to tell y'all that there's something wrong with all of this. They are trying to force people to think that we need to get rid of the Constitution altogether. They want a small majority, very small, like maybe one and a half, maybe two percent with this little with this little drive that they're doing over here um, to get people to vote or put on enough pressure to where they can try Zimmerman in a new trial. Really? If they had gave all the evidence that's out there to start with at the very beginning and didn't hide evidence, we probably wouldn't even have went to trial to start with. But the pressure was on. They had to do something to keep from having a riot. 
the riot is coming from the people pushing this. And who's doing the pushing? Would it be this fella here? And his sidekick? Trying to get the pressure off of him? Because of his birth certificate and all the other things he's done? People, please wake up. Please. We do not need racial divide in this country right now. We don't. We don't have time for it. The more racial divide we have, the closer to war we get. While we're not paying attention, they're trying to start war. He wants a third term. We've already, we've already seen that. This guy wants a third term. The only way for him to have a third term is in the him to sign an executive order or him go to World War III or go into a major enough war to where they can't have an election. That has happened a couple of times in history. We do not want that to happen at all. I, I hope all of y'all agree with that. So please, please, read this information. Understand your history 100%. And thank you, Monty, brother, for finding this. This was awesome. And with that, folks, much love to y'all, and y'all have a good evening, okay?